Okay, this is PA State Law 5, right? Each class should not consist of more than 25 students for each teacher. So when Mrs. Schaefer and I are both here or Mrs. Miller, Chris and I are both here, we literally could each have 25 technically. Um, so we could have 100 students in here, 50 in the morning, 50 in the afternoon. However, if you remember, I said that we are only licensed for 37. So there's a lot of different things that go into um, figuring this out. Um, so um, technically, I, there's a lot of schools out east that I know have enrollments like that. They have 100, 150 students enrolled in their cosmetology program. All right, how many square feet for a theory room? 750. Remember, overall, our entire room needs to be at least 2,750. So that's pretty easy. 750 for the theory room, 2,000 feet for the rest of the school. Does the school need to have a physician as a consultant? No. It used to be that when you wanted to apply to cosmetology, you had to go get a physical, and they had to certify that you were free from contagious disease. However, uh, many, many, many years ago, I realized that this law was going to have to leave, and it did. Um, when AIDS came on the scene, I knew it was only a matter of time till someone sued and said that it was discrimination, that they should be allowed to take cosmetology even if they had HIV or AIDS. And that's exactly what happened. It happened in a classroom out east. Um, I actually knew the teacher and that student was successful and they had to get rid of that um, uh, standard that you had to be free from contagious disease. How often should hours be submitted? Quarterly. Um, this happens, um, they are due February 15th, um, May 15th, let me think, January, February, Mar January, February, March. So it's April 15th. Um, July 15th, October 15th, and January 15th. All right, so um, that is um, every three months. How should teachers dress so as to be distinguished from the students? So there's no right or wrong way to dress, but um, we just shouldn't have the same thing on as the students. Um, I used to wear a smock every day, and I would simply wear a different color smock. Now I'm simply just too hot to wear a smock, so that's why I dress the way that I do. One requirement for a cosmetology school, it must be a supervisor, just like there must be someone in charge at a salon, there must be someone in charge at a school. What if something goes wrong? Ultimately, somebody has to be in charge. I'm sure you've heard the expression, the buck stops here. So in our class, you are responsible for things then I'm responsible for you or um, Mrs. Schaefer or Chris. And then ultimately, um, um, Mrs. Naughton downstairs is responsible for all of us. She is the supervisor. Okay, two signs that must be displayed in the school, all work done by students only and charges for materials only. So a lot of times people think that they're going to come to a school and they're gonna get the teacher to do their hair. Good deal, but it doesn't work that way. So the work's done by students only. I don't mind jumping in to help, but ultimately it's your client. And charges for materials only, that's why our prices are so low. When you go to a salon, you are not paying for the supplies, you are paying for that person's knowledge and expertise. Must the school supervisor be registered with the board? Yep, and there's um, things that you have to go through to be a school supervisor. You have to have two years experience teaching under a supervisor, or you have to have one year teaching and one year managing a beauty sal salon to be eligible. That's how I did it. I got my years teaching by volunteering um, because in Somerset there only was one teacher. So I volunteered my time, got my year's worth of hours in. I had my own beauty shop, so I was managing my own shop and that's how I qualified to be the supervisor at Somerset. Now, a school like um, GJCTC, it's a lot easier to become a teacher since um, uh, Mrs. Crow, Miss Naughton, Mrs. Crow is downstairs and she is the supervisor. 
no big deal. I could be a brand new cosmetology teacher and that's perfectly fine because there is someone else that is over me. Maximum number of days a student may earn per day, eight, no more than eight. Okay, so if you think nine to five, if you think of it that way, that's eight hours a day. All right, and that concludes State Law 5.